What is up guys, it is Corey19 and today we are riding my track that I just made it is on Steam for PC. It's called Corey19AX. It's not really an arena cross track, but it's like smaller than most of the supercross tracks I make, so whatever. Shoot me. I don't care. But today uh, we'll go through the track and then I will talk to you guys more about what I want to see for MXGP Pro and their career mode and what I want to see for the future so without further ado let's get into it so right now we are on the finish line we're gonna go through here second gear pop up over onto a dragon's back then a little triple that sometimes you can quad on 450 but not usually uh, with a little small whip out, then a step on, step on, step off, then option, you can go inside, double, triple, then these rolling, I plan for them to be more of, uh, crap, I case it, more of like turning whoops, but they turn into just small jumps, but, yep, we got that section's another whoop section, a little bit longer than a double into the finish line. And the finish line I like because you can actually downside the uh, finish line uh, over under. Usually in this game, the over and under is usually hopping on and then hopping off onto something outside through this section I haven't been able to cleanly quad it but you can triple I th do think the outside sets you up better for that big double then a little hip jump like it's not hard or anything it's one that you can kinda like mindlessly like just go through and not really like have to focus or anything. It's not gonna come up and bite your ass if you uh, if you just zone out and go. Meh, I'm just gonna throw down some laps on this one track. It, it kind of reminds me of what an actual one of the tracks would be. Not quite, actually. I don't know. It's just a fun little track that you can just put down laps and the only hard jump on the track is this double you'll probably only get it like one side every like four laps so a quarter of the time I freaking made the track but let's get into MXGP Pro I'm sure as most of you watching this have already known uh, Milestone released a video about the compound that they're gonna have on the track uh, well, on the game, not the track. The the creators uh, said earlier that the compound was going to be immersive. There's going to be more to it than in MXGP 2 and 3. Uh, and from what the videos saw, you could see that there's going to be a motocross track, a supercross track, some trail riding, it looked like, some free riding. Uh, if you guys want to see it, uh, I will link a URL, crap, a URL of the video. I'll probably do uh, Marcus Beasley's. I like Marcus. He does good videos. So I'll link it in the description below. Uh, definitely go check it out after watching this video. But from the compound, uh, it looks like they were doing it on the regular physics. It at least seemed the rut stint seemed too big and no one was throwing really any whips so if they were on the pro physics I feel like they would want to show it off more and there weren't really like ruts going up the faces of the jumps or anything but one thing that you did notice and they were pretty clear about showing was that there were multiple people riding on the compound at the same time so what that says to me is that there will pro you'll probably be able to play online on the compound you can just go around and free ride with your friends which I think is a good step in the right direction but uh... 
yeah that's about it that they showed from the from that I was hoping that they would have shown off uh, the pro physics a little bit more but maybe they're just tweaking it some more before release who knows but uh but for the career mode sorry I'm I start to just focus in on this section so I could get this double uh alright so for the career mode I know that at Milestone wants to become the motocross game that people get every year and what they're trying to do it seems like right now is put out two games a year uh, Supercross and Motocross I, s I side with Spencer Turley on that and say like hey just come out with a game have it have both series I'm sure they're both FIM so you have the license and it would just be the teams would be like, the teams of each series would be like no I want to share game space with them or whatever I don't care if it's gonna cost an extra like ten dollars to do that I'd, I'd buy it so I'd say move to one game a year thing but oh, I'm in first year uh, for the career mode I think that's gonna be the biggest thing moving forward and from my last video on MXGP Pro and what ideas I want them to implement uh, a lot of you guys had comments on the career mode and just to reiterate just so that you don't have to click back and forth to update yourself on the my career mode ideas what I want to see it doesn't have to be an MXGP Pro or even the next game but at least two games from now I want to see these ideas happen because I think that's what they're kind of pushing towards uh, I want them to re what the hell my my controller got just frozen but uh, I want them to move more towards like a NBA 2k or FIFA career mode like yeah, starting off in the career, like all the riders are on their team and stuff, and at the age that they are at the game's release. But moving forward, like they should be like signing contracts, si signing deals, signing gear deals, all that. Maybe not gear deals, that might come into much conflict with the teams, but at least th they should be signing contracts with the teams so that, like. Oh, in like 2020, in your career mode, Eli Tomac could be riding for Honda again. Like, I think that's that just adds to the realism, and that's what Milestone is going for. So I think they're definitely going to get into that. I mean, the last game that implemented that was freaking, what, MTX Moto Tracks? And hey, they already took the uh, track builder idea from Moto Tracks. Look at what I'm riding right now. But the other major thing that I want to see from uh, the career mode is something that NBA 2K recently uh, started to do. Uh, instead of going straight to the pros, they put you in, you got to choose like one of a, of a few of the top college basketball teams. And you played some college ball and then the March Madness tournament and then you got to go into uh, the pros and like teams would factor in your performance in those games so I think that's what Milestone could really do especially when and I s I'm saying when because it's going to happen sometime hopefully soon they're gonna get the licensing for the AMA Pro Motocross schedule what I would like to see for the AMA is you just throw in some of the amateur nationals like put in Minios, put in Ponka, put in Freestone, the James Stewart stuff, uh, Mammoth, I don't, I don't know and then obviously qualifying for Loretta's and yeah don't just put in Loretta's make it real you have to qualify for Loretta's whoa my thing keeps on getting stuck I don't know my, I might need to get a new controller soon but uh, yeah, I think that would s 
adds so much to uh, your character. Like, I would feel more like, yeah, like, this is my character. It's not just... It's already hard enough as it is. Like, you can't really be like, yeah, this is my character. I, I mean, I just have a number and a name on the back. Like, it's not like NBA and FIFA where you, can, where you make your player look like you. Like, that doesn't really work that well. Uh, and obviously, you sign with teams going into uh, your professional career. Or if you didn't perform, you go as a privateer or maybe like some satellite team. I think that would add to the realism. Like, say you get top three at Loretta's like like you're not signing with Pro Circuit if you're top three you're only signing with Pro Circuit if you're if you won like that's Mitch's thing like it like he'll tell you unless if you're like the next big thing he'll be like alright if you get second like yeah sure I'll still send you a contract but you won't be getting paid nearly as much he demands perfection from you like I know you Northeast guys, like, you'll recognize this name, like, Lil Spangler. He had a deal with Mitch after, I forget what year it was, but the year that Unadilla had the amateur national, I uh, amateur regional for Loretta's on the pro track. Like, that year, he was riding for pro circuit uh, in the amateur ranks. He was uh, Team Green with pro circuit parts. And Mitch told him, if he won, he would get a ride on the team. He would have a ride for the next year in the pros. Well, Lowell got second. And that's, I'll tell you what happened because no one knows his name because he didn't go pro. He also got really hurt. I think like the next year he was paralyzed for a little bit. He's he's good again. He's He's riding. But like that just goes like they should take that into account like who the managers are and like what the expectations are like if I get second at Loretta's I shouldn't be able to sign with Monster Energy Pro Circuit but I could sign with like maybe Geico Honda or uh, Rockstar Husqvarna because apparently they freaking take anyone th over there <laughs> Uh, no knock against Mitchell Harrison, but like I would not have signed Mitchell Harrison to a deal. But uh, besides that, let's see, what do we go over so far? Uh, oh, and like when you're making your character, I mentioned this in the other MXGP Pro for my ideas, but you should be able, when you're creating your person, for career mode you should be able to choose two options either you start off as like call it an amateur all-star just because like that's what monster cup calls them like you're out, like you get to start off with uh, factory support as an amateur so you get these factory supported bikes that are faster than obviously your bone stock obviously not as fast as the pro bikes but they're somewhere in the middle. I'd put them on the same level as like a professional uh, satellite team's bikes. And uh, or you can choose the option of having of going about it as a pro uh, privateer, as a privateer, not a pro, as a privateer, mom and pop. Just going Loretta's doing your thing kind of, kind of stuff like uh, your local heroes that go to uh, Loretta's. And you just try and get noticed kind of like Shane McElrath did. But yeah, I think those two options, like, it would be pretty cool. Uh, and then obviously once you turn pro, you sign a contract. Uh, you can like maybe negotiate your deal to how much money you make and then like I know NFL did this like way back when like probably like 06 I think it was uh, 
like with your money you could like buy new apartments or a home of like where your person lived in in between games so like that was like I know in MXGP like you're kind of like in um in the shop in your race shop in between uh races but I think it would be cool to implement something like that like like you come back and you're at home and like you start off in this like shitty ass apartment with no space and then with your uh salary you can either buy like mansions homes maybe a bigger apartment or like a ranch and like say like i say you only get your free ride area in career mode once you uh buy your own private property and that's when you get access to that free ride in career mode uh other than that i would say you have to uh like in order to go test your uh se your settings you have to uh go to a uh, public track like because keep in mind like this is when we have supercross and motocross available i'd say like like oh you're living in an apartment still oh we can go practice at glen helen or hangtown or something like that but it'll cost you this much money of your salary to go test today so it'll give you like incentive to save up or win and then buy that free ride area because make it so that those are the only times you can test your ses your settings like uh because uh for mxgp pro they said that your settings matter a lot and the mxgp reveal mxgp pro reveal event like that video it showed some of the pro physics in its early stages and it, i forget what track it was it looked like it was like llama or something like that but going down it was right off the gate going down a start straight it were these huge ruts dude like foot peg deep so like i can only imagine what the rest of the track looks like dang i forgot to shift up so like I think that would be a, an added part of realism. You have to go test and stuff with your team. Like kind of like how NBA 2K makes you go practice with your team. Which brings me to my next point. And MXGP3 dabbled in this. They uh, took it away for Supercross. But I think with refined, uh, with refined tweaks, uh, they can actually make it work. Uh, you have like certain skills that you can level up like kind of like with NBA like you have three-point shooting dribbling like all that defending like all those skills that come in to play I think uh, that would be good to bring in to this because again it adds to the realism that Milestone wants so what stats would we have like obviously we're not gonna go full in depth like right off the bat I think that would be a little crazy but like at least have top speed acceleration braking like, like all the things that you have on a bike you should have for a rider too because yeah like I can have the best bike in the world but al unless if I have those skills I'm not gonna use them as well like if you throw me on Mitch Payton's uh or let's say since Rillo's bike because he's not racing outdoors rip. Uh, if you throw me on Cincerillo's bike, I'm not going to be as fast as Cincerillo. Why is that? Because I am not as fast as Cincerillo. I don't have those skills that Cincerillo has. So I think the rider should also have how fast he can how fast the rider can go. And then it also matters if the bike can even go that fast then uh, obviously acceleration you can't really do with the rider but top speed you can handling you can like like once the track gets rough how well does the rider like ride in those conditions and you don't but the difference is and same with mud and like 
hard pack and sand and all that. All the different like track dirt forms, the forms of dirt that come in the game have a stat for that. Cause that matters, especially in MXGP and because over here in America it seems like every track surface is the same. But especially in MXGP, like they are going through sand, they're going through loam, they're going through hard pack. Like they're going through everything. So I have a different skill for each one of those uh, dirt forms, and we sh that should be good. Uh, and then just whoa, come on, got stuck again. Uh, and then have it not that like how it was in MXGP three, where the more you ride, the it just automatically goes up. Do it like NBA or Madden or FIFA where like w however well you do like say like you use your reputation points that MXGP3 and everyone gives you. Uh, you spend reputation points or experience points I guess or just money I don't know. You spend something to upgrade those stats and uh, have a so like, say like, my s top speed stat starts at 60, and I have to spend, uh, say, let's just use experience points, I have to spend 40 or 400 or just make it some number, 400 experience points to put up the top speed stat 1. And then you do that with all the stats, like my sand riding ability, my hard pack riding ability, my rough terrain ability or whatever when the track gets rough my scrubbing ability like how low can I stay from scrubbing how well can I bring the bike back I would say and that's gonna annoy people like crazy because it's gonna be the first one that does it like that because us motocross gamers are spoiled having like a god as a rider right off the bat like half the point of NBA 2K's career mode is to make your person better so that you can become a god because they realize that not everyone becomes LeBron James right off uh, the start of their NBA career they have to work their way to get it and that's what I want. I don't want to be able to freaking beat Rocks and Tomac Moosecan right off the bat. Like my first year and as a 450 rider, I shouldn't be able to. Or if I can, it should be very hard to. And while we're at it, let's add those as like skills, like 250 riding ability and 450 riding ability. Because, let's be honest, they're different machines, they're different animals. So you need different skills to ride them. Um, and then, with that being said, just like in the NBA, you should have different starting out points for the stats. Like, So, like have like five different presets like oh I'm a like I'm a scrub master so my scrubbing starts off at 80 where instead it would have started off at 60 or I'm a I'm a top speed maniac or what call it whatever it is like uh, so my top speed starts off at 80 instead of the 60 or I'm a hard pack master, or a sand master, or a blah 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 master, or I'm a fitness maniac because of course it's motocross, you should have fitness come into play. Why am I getting stuck? Jesus. Uh, so like, how the fitness should work is, as your fitness goes down, you can only go so fast. So like, say like your fitness stat is 40 when you're 40 percent through the race your your sp top speed starts to go down 
and then it just keeps on going down each percentage point that you uh, go. So like, it'll pay to be fit, kinda. Um, but yeah, like just have those things in there, like have the rider's age, like I don't want to play 20 years of AMA motocross and have freaking Jeremy Martin still be in the 250 class. I mean, he's not more, I mean, I expect Martin Davalos to still be in there, but Jeremy Martin should actually be retired at that point. Uh, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like how NBA and FIFA do, like you have all the current people that are in the NBA and then maybe the rookie class that is about to become the part of the NBA and then everyone after that are just computer generated names with computer generated stats that happen on a random basis that grow up with you so at some point I want to see Tomac retire I want to see Jason Anderson retire I want to see everyone retire and eventually I will retire just make it real that's all I'm asking and like that's just my two cents you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, I think that's all that I have for you guys if you guys have any ideas uh, just put in the comment section if I'm just being stupid and all these ideas suck butt let me know I, w I want to be on here rambling like an idiot to you guys for probably like 30 minutes now so definitely drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, drop that dislike button. I hope you don't, but do it. Let me know. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me to keep updated on all of our stuff. Uh, if you guys don't know, we are doing a giveaway. If we hit 200 subscribers, we are going to give away a free copy of MXGP Pro when it comes out to one of our subscribers and it can be Xbox One, PS4, or PC. You just let me know when you win. But yeah, you just have to go to that video, drop a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button and you are entered to win. So yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching, Cordy19, out.